Gozaimasu minasan, mountain swa chano desu. Today's video, I'm going to build a slap bed. My idea is, it's going to be a single bed that pulls out into like a semi double. And also, I want to build it that the bed will come to about here because I'm going to build a drying rack here for the snowboard boots and ski boots and everything. So the, the jacket, pants and all that, it's going to be hung up here. There's going to be a drying station here for the ski boots. Uh, the reason is, is because when I open the back door of the van in the in the car park, I want to have this as like my kind of roof. I can get changed in here and the ski clothes and stuff. And I just want access to everything here rather than having the bed coming right out to the end of the van. It kind of just blocks all the access and stuff. But what I'll do for the bed, you can see the, the back passenger seat there folded up at the moment. And the bed will kind of run flush up to it. It kind of comes flush against the the wheel arch at the back here, and then there's enough space enough space to build a drying drying station here. But then when I want passengers, I want to be able to fold the back seat down, pull the bed, and then it'll come flush along to the back of the door here. So my idea is very specific to the uses I want it for. We're building like a kind of snowboard camper and stuff like that. I have a little heating system here with some fans that blows the hot air. It kind of circulates to dry out the boots and jacket and stuff. Snowboard camper, wax station, photo studio, all that, all that schnizzle. Today I'm going to start building the bed with my mate Airbender. Uh, he's on the camera today. Oh, yo. Hey, mine san, konnichiwa. Airbender desu. Yoroshiku aishimasu. え、どこに住んでます? We have a filmer, so the camera's not on tripod all day, so yeah. Trying to figure out the height of the bed. The highest thing I've probably got that will go under the bed is one of the ski boots. Probably want it about like that. All right, well, fuck. Let's start building. Hey, all right, let's build. Let's start building. 4.5 is 9. So what's 44 minus 9? Or bed frame, like something like that. Maybe like a center over here. Like that. Alright, so you need 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35. That's 6. 6 times 35. We need it. Kyo Kirimas. Oh, nice cut wood. Not in the way. Oh, you piece of shit. Not center, but. Piece of shit. Boom. So it looks pretty high. Hey, this is the outside frame of the bed, and it's going to be it's going to be up against there when the passenger seat's down. When the passenger seat comes up, we're going to move it, and it will come to the end of the van like that. Just to give you a quick idea of my plan with the sliding bed. So the wheel arch here. So we're going to cut the wood. This bit's going to be fixed to slide. This bit's going to be gone. You must. <laughs> This is the slide. So this is this is it up into seat up position or seat closed position. Bed here. Passenger comes in. Bed slides. Boom. And then passenger seat comes up. Woo! Yeah. Fuck okay. yeah. <laughs> Decent. Bed brace, handcrafted with a Japanese saw. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Bed slide. Snap. Passenger seat up. Slide, lock, boom. Oh yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Psycho, psycho this. You got that. Then it slides like that. It locks there. That's how it's that. And then here's the drying rack. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Spacer here, so we get a nice smooth glide when we pull it out and push it back in. Yep. Oi. Yeah, all right, little update. Um, finished build. Picked it up. Into the van. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna take you through my bed design um, and the reason why I designed it like this. It's very specific to what I want the van to be. So I'm just gonna take you for a little quick walk through here. Made it as a single pull out bed. So most of the time it's gonna be in this. This is 70 centimeters here. So it's enough space for need to sleep on without pulling it out into the double. It's two meters long and it'll go all the way up to, let's have a look, goes all the way up to the passenger seat, which will be folded most of the time unless some people come in the van and stuff. Um, I will build a storage unit here that covers the passenger seat, but the reason I've left this space here and I've put the it up against the passenger seat is I want this space for a drying station. So I'm gonna have a drip tray here. Uh, I have my ski boots, snowboard boots, jacket and pants will be up here. Like I'll make a, some kind of hanging rack, something like that. My gloves, my rucksack, everything. I want to come back from snowboarding and I just take everything off with the, the door open. This is the bed in single mode. Um, I've left it hollow. Let's, yeah, have a look inside there. I've left it hollow in there so I can slide in surfboards, snowboards, skis, whatever I want. Easy access. So there's no wooden beam, wooden support beams going across on the bottom. Um, it's all built with these L kind of brackets here. Make it nice and sturdy. Pull it up. Boom. This is the bed in double mode, so it'll be a semi, semi double mattress that will go on top of that. That's the distance here is 120. I've not quite made the legs yet here because I'm figuring out a design. I'm going to build a shelving and table unit here, which will have all the my camera gear and be able to do like. My photo edits and everything on the desk here. So what I might build is uh, on the table itself, I might put some supporting beam and then this will just like, hook on top of it somehow and keep it nice and steady. The reason being, I didn't want to put fixed legs here. So I want to keep the bed nice and slow. This bit here is a solid. Oh yeah. Uh, most of the time I'll be sleeping on it single anyway. So slide it back. Boom, just ski boot under there. Oh. Nice size for the boot. A wet box here. Boom, so nice height for the storage. All right, so I'm gonna finish the episode at this point. Um, the bed, it's, it's not quite finished. Uh, finished the frame. Um, I'm not quite decided yet if I'm gonna put some doors or some kind of cover here, maybe some more wood. I think this, this section here, uh, I might do some sliding doors. I don't know, not decided yet, but this will be kind of closed up. Ordered a, a semi-double mattress, which I'll, which I'll cut at a later stage. Um, probably just like slice. And any questions or any tips or anything for building, just leave the comments below. Oh God, it's pretty heavy, like holding the camera on the arm. But uh, yeah, cheers for watching guys. Um, if you want to see more episodes of the van build and the progress, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment below, do all that schnizzle. We've got Instagram. Uh, check out check out our Instagram for surf snow related photos. Minasan <laughs> Dogo
チャンネル登録お願いします。